This video is recorded in 2023 as a job aid for the GISS workflow. It will cover how to run the required analyses for points, lines, and polygons in the offline copy of the training GISS edit service. It will also cover how to update metadata in the dynamic text update table. Open the attribute table of the event polygon feature layer. Select the record or records for which to calculate acres. Locate the acres field, right click and select calculate geometry. For the property, geodesic measurements are more accurate than planar measurements. For the area unit, select international acres. US survey measurements have been deprecated. For the coordinate system, select current map since you set a local projected coordinate system during the data preparation steps of the workflow. Moving along to lines, open the attribute table of the perimeter line feature layer. Select only those records that need to be updated. Locate the length feet field. Right click and select calculate geometry. For the property, select Length Geodesic. For the Length Unit, select International Feet. For the Coordinate System, select Current Map. Click OK to calculate length in feet for perimeter lines. Then repeat the length feet calculation for event lines. Now to points. Open the attribute table of the event point feature layer. Select only those records that need to be updated. Locate the latitude field. Right click and select calculate field. Under the code block, click the import button. Navigate to the Tools folder of the GeoOps Incident Directory and select the Calculate Lat.cal file and click OK. Click once inside the code block to prevent errors, then click OK. Repeat this process for the Longitude field using the Calculate Long.cal file. We use this method instead of Calculate Geometry to store coordinate data in the format used by Aviation. Coordinate calculations also apply to the Accountable Property and IR Point feature layers. The Update Metadata portion of the workflow refers to updating the Dynamic Text Update table. The dynamic text update table will serve as a single source of information from which all map layouts will pull using dynamic text. The dynamic text update table should be updated from the edit project while all other projects are closed. The incident name and unique fire ID were updated during the data preparation section of the workflow and do not need further updates. The source statement describes how the Wildland Fire Daily Fire perimeter was collected. In this case, I created the perimeter from GPS data. The acres should come directly from the event polygon feature layer and are generally rounded to the nearest whole number. In this example, that was 269. 
The acre's effective date refers to the date and time the wildfire daily fire perimeter was collected. This also comes directly from the event polygon feature layer. Recall that the polygon date time field is in UTC or Coordinated Universal Time. In local incident time, that was August 5th, 2000 hours. The date and operational period of use refers to the date in which a map product is intended to be used. Since we haven't made any map products yet at this point in the workflow, this involves thinking ahead and working with your situation unit leader to identify when the next set of maps will be produced and shared. In this case, the perimeter I have is from the night of August 5th, so the next set of maps I will produce will be for August 6th day shift. Save edits to the table.